All right, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. I've got a half-sister, my father's daughter. She's about 10 years older than me. Always been a Christian. I mean, she's even a Christian music artist. She does Christian rock. And she's always passing out her CDs to her family and friends. She's been mar she was married to this particular guy for 20 years. Maybe 18, 19 years. And my dad loved him. He had all of these tattoos. And even though my dad hates tattoos and he got so disappointed in me when I got him, he loved this guy because his tattoos were biblical. All right. They became pastors. They both went to some type of theology school and got some type of uh, certification, and they became pastors of their church. They were te they were preaching every other Sunday. This went on for years and years. And one day, my half sister's husband had a conversation with her and told her that he was tired of acting. He was tired of pretending to be straight. He's successful now, he's got a good job, he has his own business as a fashion designer, and he doesn't feel the need to pretend anymore. When she first met him, his mother had died, his father put him out the house, he was homeless, he didn't have any source of income, and my half-sister allowed him to move into her home. Her mother died, so I guess that was the connection that they both had. They both lost their mothers. And my sister inherited the house. It was paid for. She didn't have any bills to pay. You know, no mortgage, no rent. So she said, hey, come live with me. They become boyfriend and girlfriend. They eventually get married. 18, 19 years later, he decides, hey, I'm gay. I've always been gay, and I'm going to be gay. I've got a fiance in New York. We're going to get married. And you and I are going to get divorced. Playtime is over. And he told this to my sister. So, on the Sunday that he was supposed to preach alongside my sister, they both preach on the same day at the same time. Very popular inside their church. They're known as the it couple. Everybody aspires to be like them. He comes to church with a t-shirt that says, F God, God isn't real. He gets on a microphone and tells everybody, F you all, I never cared for any one of you, I never liked any one of you. I've been gay this whole time, you guys hate gay people, and each and every day I've been around you people, it's been so hard for me to pretend to be one of you, to pretend to be straight, I'm so happy that I'm able to say F you guys, you'll never see me again, I'm going to New York to be with my man, my fiance, and I'm getting divorced from this woman. My, my half-sister didn't know he was going to do this. I mean, when he revealed the t-shirt, it was shocking because he had it, you know, he had a coat on and he took the jacket off when he got to the pulpit and got on the mic. So it was a total show. And afterwards, he left to New York to be with his fiance. He and my half-sister got divorced, and my half-sister never spoke about it again. 19 years, 20 years married to one guy. All of a sudden, he comes out the closet as a gay man, and she didn't speak about it. It was as if it never happened. She left the church where she and he attended and, and preached together and started going to my father's church. I visit the church one day because occasionally I would go see my father at the church because he's a hardcore Christian, and he always invites me. I see three people there who I went to elementary school with, middle school, and high school with. I've known them my whole life. Never been close to them, but they've always been around in my school days. I say hello to them. These three people just so happen to be gay. Just so happen to be gay. And then I thought about it. Everybody has always suspected my half-sister of being gay. Um, she's very masculine, very butch. Every now and then when I would be out with her socially, I could see her sexually checking out other women. I've had women who I'm friends with tell me that 
they felt odd about her because she would seem to be trying to seduce them sexually in a covert way. And they would find that odd because she was married to a man. And yeah, I th and, but she, she, we, we, we've never had this conversation. We're not even really that close, but this opened my eyes to a lot. There are certain churches out there that harbor homosexuality. The congregation actually wants homosexuals to come. Why? I don't know. I don't know if these pastors finally realize that if you keep pushing people away, you're going to lose money. The more people, the more money. Or if this kind of thing has been going on the whole time. You know, the Christian church system has an underground homosexual scene. And there's nothing wrong with it. I don't have any problems with it whatsoever. But the Christian community is interconnected all over the country and even globally. The same music artists travel the country and play at all the mega churches in each state. Pastors visit other churches in each state. You know, it's kind of like, it's, it's just, it's connected. And I've got friends in other states who have similar experiences of knowing open gay folks who are in churches. Either they may have a gay brother who's going to church every Sunday or whatever. And uh, I don't have any problems with it, but I just think it's so odd. Peace.